This is Anna for Shiny Shiny and Tech Digest, and we're here with the Odyssey iPod and iPhone dock. Um, and Rob from Odyssey, he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Um, can you tell us um, how much it costs and where we can get it from? Um, on November 17th, it'll be available in the Apple retail stores. It'll be £349. That's fantastic. Um, so what makes this iPod dock special then? Um, there's a couple things, but I think the first part is really the Odyssey proprietary technology inside. We've got six different technologies that we've designed and developed ourselves, but two of them in particular really improve the listening experience. The first is Base XT. Yeah. Base XT is a way of the software controlling the performance of the driver to give you a lower bass response. And in conjunction with that, we have our Odyssey EQing technology that helps maintain a balanced sound throughout the whole frequency response in conjunction with the bass technology. That's interesting, because what you are saying to me before was that other other devices tend to make the bass louder, which um, just kind of creates that distortion. So what you're saying is you actually make it lower as well as louder, and then it kind of pumps out more equal sounds with less yeah. distortion on it. And yeah. that's a lot of the key. That going yeah. lower means you hear different things in the music, and it's, mm -hmm. it improves the overall listening experience. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, great. And um, can you take us through the feature set? It's quite an attractive, sort of prow-shaped little device here. Um, heavy. How heavy is it again? Uh, it's about nine pounds, about nine pounds. four and a half kilograms. Um, it's it's yeah. thin shape, as you see, so it's designed to fit in a desktop or a tighter space. It fits in sure. some unique areas. Okay, that's interesting. And one of the features for like being quite useful dot for the desk was it's got a computer attachment, doesn't it? Yeah, you take so us through the, we can start yeah. from the back. On the back of the unit, yeah. we've got three main things, really. We have a USB connection, so you can connect to the computer and sync with iTunes. Cool. Right above it, we've got a 3.5 millimeter for line and a 3.5 millimeter for mic. So I can, with these now, connect to a laptop or desktop, use this as a computer speaker, but in addition, I can also use the microphone connection to make voice over IP calls. Let's see. Oh, yeah, sure. So you can talk into this mm -hmm. and you can plug it into your computer, run Skype. Absolutely. Yeah. And the reason you can do that is because of the telephony technology that we have oh, built yeah. into the dock. So that's so microphone. you see, there's a microphone yeah. right up here, and there's a Bluetooth connection right here. Yeah, now this is a nice feature, isn't it? Can you tell me about the Bluetooth? So Bluetooth does two things. First off, it, as I mentioned with telephony, it lets you connect your iPhone to the dock. So when you do have a phone call, you can answer the phone call while you're still docked. Cool. This means that the device itself goes from music mode into phone mode, and the microphones turn on, and this really becomes a speaker phone. So I can do that when I'm docked, or if, even if I'm not docked, because it's, to, it's designed to work through Bluetooth. Those same functionality with the microphones and some of the technologies we use for noise cancellation and echo cancellation also make the voice over IP, the Skype phone calls possible. That's really cute. Okay, and the other nice thing is I can literally take the <laughs> take this off, and I can stream music from the Bluetooth connection straight to the speakers. So yeah, yeah I could be sitting on my desk texting and um, it's still playing music through the speakers. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay, um, do you want to give us a little quick demo then? Absolutely. Probably not going to get this sound quality through the flip camera, but... Yeah. <laughs> so we've got an LED to show oh, yeah. the volume level. Sure, so it's just hidden behind there. The volume control buttons are on the front of the device. Wow. And you said this can pump out some pretty serious sound, can't it? Kind of beyond what you're never it'll do, using it. It'll do 105 dB at about 6 feet, which is, is more than loud enough for a, a one-bedroom flat. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Pretty nice. Um, well, you can't really make this out over the camera, but um, I'll say it's pretty kind of broad depth sounds, and you're getting some real kind of variation in the kind of heights and the depths of the of the sound quality there. Um, so Rob, thanks very much and um, this is the Odyssey iPhone and iPod dock out from the 17th of November in the UK.